Hi. Carol, what's the matter? <laughs> what makes you think anything's matter? Just call it a sister's intuition. Besides that, you're reading the paper upside down. <laughs> Carol. You've been acting awfully strange for the last three days. You've just been sitting around here staring at the same four walls. Now, would you please tell me what's wrong? You'll feel better if you talk about it. Oh, maybe you're right. Okay, what is it? I'd rather not talk about it. Carol! <laughs> well, all right. All right, you asked for it. If you must know, my husband is in love with another woman. What? No, it's true. He's been coming home late every single night this week. Monday night he called and he said he had to work late at the office. And then Tuesday night he called and he said he had a flat tire. Now I ask you, aren't those the oldest excuses in the world? Carol, you're imagining things. Oh, yeah? What time is it now? It's 7.30 and why isn't he through that door yet? Oh, well, I forgot to tell you. He called and said he'd have to work late again tonight. Is he? With her. Oh. <laughs> ask yourself this. With a wonderful wife like you, why on earth would Roger want a younger woman? <laughs> let me put that another way. Oh, oh it's no use. He, he's given up on me. He doesn't love me anymore. Oh, Carol, instead of torturing yourself like this, you ought to just come right out and ask him. No, oh, I couldn't face him now. Where are you going? The bedroom. That's the last place he'd think of looking for me. <laughs> what? With Carol. Boy, the nerve of some people. There I was, minding my own business, and wham! What happened? Some dame just hit me down at the intersection. You're kidding. Did she do much damage? About 200 bucks worth. Where's Carol? She's in the bedroom. Rush. She didn't even have her insurance card with her. Said she's going to drop it off here later. Fat chance. I'll probably never see her again. Where's Carol? She's still in the bedroom. Roger, she thinks that you're... I tell you, women shouldn't be allowed to drive, period. I need a drink. Well, do you know where Carol is, or don't you? I haven't seen her all day. That figure. She's out having a good time, and I'm out 200 bucks. Where are you going? We're going here and set fire to the kitchen. Okay, we'll be home early. <laughs> but if she wasn't a dame, I'd have punched her right in the nose. 200 bucks, and I just had that lousy car painted. Remember the bedroom. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Brother. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Not now, Carol. I've got important things on my mind. I don't suppose it involves another woman. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, it does. <laughs> How did it happen? Oh, listen, Carol, first of all, it wasn't my fault. Oh, I know, I know. These things never are. <laughs> you don't have to talk about it. I understand. There I was, and suddenly she came along, and wham! She hit me like a ton of bricks. Is she pretty? I suppose so. What difference does that make? Well, I guess the damage is done. She married. Yeah, she's married. Why? I was just wondering if her husband knows about it. Well, I hope so. She's probably telling him about it right now. <sighs> well, what are you going to do? Honey, what can I do? I'm stuck. I mean, the problem is, do I get an attorney or do I settle out of court? <sighs> Where are you going? I got to think this whole thing out before she gets here. She's coming here? Well, of course, honey. We have to settle this whole affair once and for all. <sighs> Chrissy? It's true! What's true? He just admitted it and he's in love with another woman. It's what? true! What did he say? He said that she came along and boom at him like a ton of bricks. Oh, Carol. All right, we'll get a little apartment together somewhere. <laughs> I'll just sell it a porch and rock my life away. I can't believe it. That's probably
probably her. She's coming to the house? Yes. Roger thought it would be best to bring everything out into the open. <laughs> Mrs. Bradford? Yes, I'm Mrs. Bradford. I is your husband here? I'd like to talk to him about our little accident. No. 